The team appointed to investigate the understatement of revenue for the financial year 2023 will be chaired by retired High Court Judge Justice David Harris and will include Mr. David C. Benjamin, a former Audit Director at the Auditor General's Department and specialist in information technology. And we settled on uh, Justice David Harris, who retired just a couple of months ago, very highly respected High Court Judge, to be the chairman. I don't think there's any question that this retired judge would not be independent, would not determine the true facts. Minister of Finance Colm Imbert revealed the terms of reference of the investigation, which include, but are not limited to the circumstances that led to the understatement of revenue in the public accounts for fiscal year 2023, and the efforts made by the officials at the Ministry of Finance to provide the Auditor General with an explanation, clarification, and further information. What are the facts in relation to the various allegations and statements made by the Auditor General in her report on the public accounts of Trinidad and Tobago for the financial year 2023, including the addendum and appendices with specific reference to the understatement of revenue in the public accounts for the financial year 2023. The finance minister chastised the opposition for what he described as scandalous allegations. In addition to publishing extracts of the Auditor General's report, which is yet to be laid in Parliament. Told that the leader of the opposition made an absurd claim that $386 million has gone missing in the Ministry of Finance. That's absolute rubbish. What I am seeing in terms of what was posted on the screen at that Monday night forum is that it is being alleged that documents were not provided to support payments totaling $386 million in 2023, such as expenses in connection with international financial institutions, fiscal incentive program for farmers, and so on. The Auditor General had declined to put into her 2023 report on TNT's accounts figures for $2.6 billion. This was reportedly due to problems with a new electronic check clearing system used by the central bank. The investigative team will be requested to report to the Minister of Finance within two months. Karen Kozia-Philip, TTT News.